crazy what state down, Captain. Do Carmen down. Oh, Hold on. Listen. Listen to me. There's a statewide Amber Alert out for him, okay? She was a terrified mother in Fairfield on the ground in handcuffs just moments after she realized her son had been kidnapped. Her husband took these pictures, and tonight the family is demanding an explanation from Fairfield police about how they were treated. The Guzman family says that they were treated like criminals instead of worried parents after their son became the center of an Amber Alert. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Anderson. CBS 13's Derek Shore is live in the newsroom with why they're so upset. Derek? Well, the Guzman family says they are happy to have their son Brock home tonight. He was in the back of his parents' car when someone stole it. Tonight, his parents are not crediting police, however, with his safe return. Instead, they accuse officers of making a terrible situation worse. And late tonight, Police are now defending their actions. The video picks up as Fairfield police decide to take an emotional Suzanne Guzman to the ground. The Fairfield mother had called these same officers to her home after her car was stolen from her driveway with her eight year old son Brock in the back seat. Fairfield 911. The cop grabbed her and they dragged her down here to the around the corner where two cops slammed her to the ground and handcuffed her. Brock's father, and Paul, is the one recording the incident of his wife being restrained and cuffed. He says Fairfield officers insisted on first searching their home. He says Suzanne stopped them from doing that until Paul returned to corral their dogs. We have two dogs and one of them would bite somebody that they didn't know coming into the house. With Suzanne on the ground, the video shows the officer trying to explain what is standard procedure. The first thing you do anytime you're looking for somebody missing is you start where they last were and check there first. Paul says Every regardless, they that, were treated right. like criminals. As soon as they got here, we just felt like we were being treated like we had done something to our son. Eventually, the suspect would abandon the car, their son asleep in the back seat. It wasn't the Fairfield PD that we give credit to for finding it. It was my buddy putting it on social media. Today, eight-year-old Brock read this statement. I just want to say thank you to everybody that was looking for me. I'm very happy to be home. His parents grateful he's home, but planning on filing a complaint against police, showing us these photos of the bruises they say were left behind. Obviously, officers need better training on how to deal with somebody that their kid just got kidnapped. And late tonight, Fairfield police issued a statement defending their actions, saying Brock's mother was stopping them from searching the home, as we mentioned, and officers also released body cam footage tonight of the altercation. They say an officer saw a reddish substance on the carpet inside the home when they looked through the door. Take a look. What the f am I being you look at the carpet? I have that hair. looks like what blood. The you what the f are you right right here? Here? And that is part of that body cam footage. So police tonight are saying that they believed maybe something had happened to Brock inside the home, that Brock was maybe hurt, that someone had been injured in the house, and that is why they were so intent on going in the home, and that is why they got into that scuffle with his mother. So obviously, uh, two different sides of this story tonight, but the good thing, Brock is okay tonight. Two very different sides. Yeah. Derek Shore, live in the newsroom for us tonight. Derek, thank you.